Okay. Let's just make sure I'm in the right spot. That would always help. I don't know what's going on. Technology lately has not been my friend. Um, it's like everything is freezing. I go to do stuff and it doesn't work for me. Okay. Let's move this a little bit more. Hey, Anita. Hey, Darlene. I'm good, Anita. How are you? I am on day five, I think. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Oh, I'm on day six of self-isolation. I think hubby is coming home tonight. And then he's probably going to be... I don't know, downstairs. We'll see how it goes. This is just so crazy. I know I wasn't gonna talk about this. Okay, before I start on that, I wanna show you something that I did. So I did the decoupage the other day and I had this, um, what is this? Canvas, it's on a heavier um, cardboard. And I think I got it at the dollar store. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it. So I thought, well, why not decoupage this and it will go with, um, the bunnies that I did and I just need to find a nice saying for here and I'm going to try and chalk on this and have that go with the uh, rest of the stuff that I did so I thought that was really cute and I wanted to show you guys that okay so tonight we're doing beach vibes and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chair and the sun down and then on top of it I'm gonna put beach vibes I don't know how this is gonna go but I am just winging it here you know how I love to try different things so I'm gonna use guava and bumblebee for the sun and then I thought we would do the Adirondack in um, couture teal just because that seems like a good color for a beach chair and then uh, beach vibes um, I think I'm going to do it in raspberry sorbet I think because these colors I just feel that these colors go together really well. Introducing the Blue Jay, it's a little bit darker in the tone. So I think we're going to go with these four colors. Now, if it doesn't work out, I can always just paint over this wood surface. So that is the plan. And put that aside. And let's line this up. So I've got a couple of virtual events coming up. Um, the first one is, I think it's the 4th of April. Pretty sure that's when I scheduled it. Um, and it's going to be uh, just over Facebook. So it'll be a virtual party. Um, somebody that attends will be the hostess. 
and we'll determine that once everybody has RSVP'd. So that person will get um, hostess rewards, just like if you were having a home party or a home workshop. And so that's the fourth, and I believe it's the egg cutouts that we're doing on the fourth, and then the 11th is the birdhouses. Those are a little bit more involved, but they're going to be really cute too. So if you want an invite to that, let me know. And I can invite you. I actually created it on my own page so that I can turn it off from being public to private once the event comes up. Because then I can post specials and stuff in the page or in the event. So let me know if you're interested in that. And then there's another one. Um, uh, our house is a home, I think, is the transfer. Or, oh, now I can't remember what it's called. But that one is going to be the 14th um, from 2 to 4. And I think the 14th is a Wednesday. So there's a few different options there. And with the social distancing, we can still do the project together and have some fun. So I thought that would be kind of cool. Hey, Carrie. All right, so I got the chalk paste mixed up. It was a brand new container. And now I'm just squeegeeing this across the silk screen area. All right. So I made rye bread today. That is sitting on the counter. It's almost cooled. I can't wait to slice it. Hubby's going to be pretty excited when he sees that I made that. He loves rye bread. But we eat a lot of open face sandwiches, so I love having that in the freezer. Let me just grab it. I'm just going to hit this with the blow dryer. doesn't take very long to dry at all. Okay, so now we're going to do the sun up here, I think. And I didn't fuzz these. I've waxed the surface, so it is good. Now I just want a little bit of each one. So I'm going to do, oh, this always messes me up. Light on top, dark on the bottom, I think, is how it goes. I can never remember. Okay, let's do this. Um, might need a little bit more. And then we're going to bring the bottom up. And then I'm going to blend the two together. not going to put this back in the jar and put a tiny little bit of water on my finger and just 
work these two colors. I love this technique. So pretty. And there is, oh, that was dumb. There's chalk paste in the middle. I didn't want that there. All right, I need a Lysol wipe. I love how that turns out when you bring the two colors together and then blend. Okay, now we're gonna dry that. I'm just gonna put the lid on these two colors. Just so they don't dry out. All right, we got that. Now that's still a little bit wet, so I'm just gonna hit it with a dryer. Because I'm layering it, I wanna make sure that it's good and dry. So that is my plan. I'm gonna do it like that. So we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> this time I am going to fuzz this a little bit just because I'm layering it and I don't wanna pull up the colors that I've already laid down. I don't mind if this goes into the sun a little bit. And then the vibes. I think that'll be good. This a mix. I love this color. Isn't that vibrant? So pretty. Okay squeegee and I've got raspberry sorbet chalk paste all over my hands. Just straight across the silk screen area. I might have to add some water to this one. It looks a little bit chunky. Okay, let's peel it off. All right, and then vibes. I'm liking these colors together. It's making me think of Mexico sitting on the beach. Listening to the waves. I just love the sound of waves coming in. I don't know, there's just something so relaxing about it. All right, here we go. I 
fingers crossed. I think it's going to look good. There we go. Here goes. Oh yeah. I like that. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? Really quick, simple project. I got some hearts there. Yeah, I like it too, Anita. Um, it would have been a lot better if this board didn't have these uh, grooves in it. But now I know better for next time. I will keep this just for, for words, not for anything with a continuous design. But I think it turned out okay. Even with that separation in the sun. Nothing is ever perfect, right? Perfectly imperfect. And there we go. That is it for tonight. I will be back on um, Monday. Unless I get bored and get the urge to chalk tomorrow. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. Oh, yawning. All right. I am going to go and watch a show. Wait for hubby to call. Let me know whether he's coming home or not. Hopefully he is. You guys have a wonderful night and uh, thanks for watching. Be safe. I'll talk to you again later. Bye for now.